description. Last episode, we managed to talk our way to get that guy to release Josie Thorpe, and but he got away. So that could either be a bad thing or a good thing. I don't know. Maybe he'll help us later. Maybe he won't. And maybe we'll be looked down because of our actions. But maybe we'll be looked highly upon because we saved a life. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't peg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. I'll ask about the first attack. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. <sighs> I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack... was just to destroy Megan's research? Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. And... Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. Uh, let's hear about... You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident. But Pritchard couldn't get a good visual, and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. And with that, I bet you... I'm gonna find a Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik. But right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right? See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. All right, let's get that to his office. Hmm. I think it's disgusting. 
interesting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Like it's his fault. I don't buy for a second he was with Should be nice to have a long time. Hey, jerk face. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Oh, okay then. Jerky McJerkerson. Yes. So that they talk about David and you They spin the news like anyone else. Rudy. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. to see me yeah how are you feeling I've had better days well when we're done here check him at Dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown can't hurt to get a checkup if you insist listen about Sanders yeah about Sanders what the hell were you thinking letting him slip away like that I sent you in there to take care of things You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why, so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker... In Sanders' group? You're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. <laughs> Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You still got friends on the force? You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it. Anything in here? A newspaper. Oh, yay. All right, well, I guess. That looks like one amazing game of baseball. 
Everyone's standing there doing absolutely nothing. Amazing. Oh, I can't use this elevator. Ah, that's nice. Hello. Right above me. Nope, they're right here. Adam Jensen, please report to your office. Right, I'm doing it. Jeez, stop telling me. Jensen, remember me? No, no, that sounds too hard. Hardly. What do you mean? Let me check my emails. Uh, security. Tells me right there. M. Not pressing anything. M. A. A. K. E. Nope. Gotta go over to. Yay. I sound like his girlfriend or something. All right, hey, let's talk. Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired, worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway... Now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Uh... Explain the details. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book? His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. Okay. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow, thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. 
Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. Right, 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 right. Time to get out of here. Oh, there they are. Let's get this whole thing just brings back bad memories. I love working with you. Oh, these load screens are just so dang long. Jeez, you'd think they'd have an update for this already to shorten them up or something. Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. Mm. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you, after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? They did what they had to do to save me. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put... I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. I can see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? Yep. I, I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. 
He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Jeez, I thought she'd never get done talking. Alright, this has gone on long enough. Uh, please like and favorite, please share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. This is Cyberwolf of Cyberwolf Games, signing off.